Sunday was really fun. But let me back it up for a second. How did I get courtside seats to the Raptors? I'll tell you. On New Year's Eve, my friends Ashley and Rob got married. The day after the wedding, on New Year's Day, Ashley and Rob took a bunch of people to the Raptors game. During one of the breaks from the game, they introduced a contest on the Jumbotron for a a chance to win courtside tickets, all you had to do was tweet a picture of yourself having fun at the game using the hashtag money for life. I thought the contest was to win tickets to upgrade during the game to courtside. Uh, so I tweeted a picture of Ashley and Rob, they were sitting either side of me, and made them lean in and I took a picture. And in my tweet I played with the fact that they had just gotten married because I figured that would go over well and maybe help us win. So I held onto my phone for the rest of the game hoping I'd hear back about winning, uh, but I didn't. But four days later, I got a notification on my phone saying that Sun Life Financial had tweeted me and I had won the tickets. Unfortunately, under normal circumstances, but fortunately for me, in this case, Robin actually actually live in England, so they were not going to be in the country during the game uh, that we won tickets for, so I felt pretty good about keeping them for myself. They gave me two tickets for the game, obviously because it's not fun to do these kind of things by yourself. So I got to take a friend, and I chose my friend David because he loves basketball and he's actually been wearing the same Raptors hat every day for like the last 14 months. As part of the winning package, we also got these free jackets from Sun Life to wear to the game. They had originally told us that they wanted us to wear the jacket so that they could put us on Jumbotron and show us as previous winners of the contest but that actually never ended up happening. The best part of the night was actually getting a bunch of text messages from friends who were watching the game on TV saying that they could see us on TV. Uh, we were actually sitting right behind the Memphis bench. So every time there was a shot on that basket, you could see us on TV. Now, I've actually only ever seen a handful of basketball games in my life, so I'm not always sure what's going on or why whistles are being blown. Uh, so there were definitely moments during the game when I was mostly like, Huh? Oh, then a Wednesday night with all his buddies. But luckily, if I was ever really confused, David explained things to me. Now, in the career of Vince Carter, he started 900 as 7 and 10 tonight. Financially, as Mario Chalmers loses. At one point during the game, it even looked like I was explaining stuff to David. When you have good players around him, he really compliments on that. That's a tough ball right there. However, despite my lack of basketball knowledge, I still know how to react when bad things happen. That's what's going to win for you yeah. in the playoffs. And a three with a hand in the face. Chalmers. Crossover. James misses and a foul on Scola. Drives by Barnes. Suspended in air. No call. And a Patterson the open look short. Spin the kick and the three. On the week. And good things. Everyone talks features their offense. The asking price was very high throughout the league. Prices are too high. Lowry, the three. Patterson, the good look. Patrick Patterson connect. Lowry and Bismack Biombo. The three, and it's good. In fact, by the end of the game, I was getting pretty good at doing basketball. And actually, when one of the players on the Memphis team got a technical foul, I told him what's what. And a technical on Matt Barnes. Yep, count it. And the foul, Barnes with a technical. Hi, oh, come on, Jacko. I got your back, though, Matty brother, D. His brother, uh, of course, played in the CFL. Ain't no one messing with my man. However, I was actually informed rather quickly by David and a few other friends by text message that that Barnes guy is actually probably genuinely crazy and that I should definitely not shout things at him. And now Matt Barnes with a couple of words to some fans. Sitting so close to the court actually let us in on a lot of basketball secrets. Um, like, for example, did you know that there's a guy whose job it is to give the players lip chap and also f endlessly fold the same pile of t-shirts and towels? Also, there's a garbage can behind the bench that looked like it was used only for player garbage. 
but I used it too. And if that garbage can clip wasn't enough for you, a lot of other fun stuff happened too. Get a good sweat. Look at That's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Is tweet a selfie of yourself, obviously. <laughs> We're below Minnesota, folks. <laughs> okay? It doesn't happen like that all the time. It just happened for a 72 hour period of time, unfortunately. Today is beautiful. Oh, yesterday was spectacular. Of course, nobody would believe us.